little bit more into detail about the Walkera drone app, which you uh, need um, for taking footage with the Volcara Vitus. Um, let's start up the drone first. And the controller, of course. Then we'll go to settings. We'll go to Wi Fi. And we'll just wait for the Walkera Ground and Walkera Air connections to uh, pop up. And when they do, we're going to connect with the Walkera Ground. It already uh, connects because we did it uh, before. Um, and when you want to connect, it's one up to nine uh, and a zero behind it. That's the code to connect. Then we'll go back and go to the Walkera drone app. We have different models of Walkera in here. We're going to connect to the Volcara Vitus. You see immediately we have uh, the camera screen. And here we can go to Google Maps. Okay, so what do we have? On the left we have gesture shot, active track, so active track means follow, follow me, and lock. And we have aerial mode. Beneath that we have the takeoff button, and of course here we have the uh, coming home button. At the top right corner, we have the settings. So, uh, for instance, for firmware updates, and we have different things like uh, putting up a fence, uh, the altitude limit, which uh, is normally default is uh, 50 meters we've changed it to 120 meters return to home height you can change that in this case it's 25 meters and you get things about sensors which you can calibrate You can put in uh, a different stick mode if you'd like and change the feel. You can determine where you want to save your footage, so locally or on the device. And the center and the down button are uh, buttons to quickly put the camera in the center or point it down. Roll adjust is uh, for your uh, gimbal and of course beneath that you have your gimbal calibration. And here you can see more info uh, with regards to the battery. When we look at the right side here, you see it's on uh, photo mode. You can also change it to video mode. And that is important because it's different when you have it in photo mode. When you go to settings, you see pro, photo, and others. And you, this is on automatic but you can also go in there and, and 
change it manually. Well, you can see that you can change the ratio and the resolution. You can also put it on 8 megapixels. Um, and when you want to go out of this uh, menu, then you just touch the screen again. So, like I said, if you change it to video, and you go to those settings, then you see there are the settings for your video. So your preview size, which can also be at 1080p. Um, record size, record rate, your codec, and then under others you can determine if you want a grid on your screen or not. And you can format your SD card. You can press to uh, uh, make a video from from in, within the app. You can also take a picture with this one, or take a video with this one on the controller itself. Now at the top, you can see a line. And the green bar gets less and less when the battery uh, gets less and less. So, and you can also determine where you want this H to be. Furthermore, you see the amount of satellites that has been picked up. The percentage for the battery of the controller the connection how good or bad it is and you can see the battery life for the drone itself then at the back of the controller you can see these two and one is for the gimbal and the other one is for your uh, EV uh, of the camera so you can change that while flying the buzz you are hearing is coming out of the controller so not out of the uh, drone itself okay so when um, you want to move the screen Nothing to be seen, uh, it's just on a table, but you can also do it with the uh, roll knob at the back of the controller. In the corner, you can view, and this is photo, we didn't make any photos with, um, or pictures, uh, and video. So, you can already view them before you uh, put the SD card into your PC. Um, when you want to go back, you get a warning that you don't want to do that when it's up in the air. And then also at the left, you can look at the videos and the photos and change some settings here. So this is one of two apps. This is the one you use to fly and then the other one is with the uh, augmented or virtual reality stuff. I think that's uh, about everything we can say about the app. The Valkyra Vitus flies very stable. Up till now we had very hard winds here in the Netherlands, so um, we can't always fly, but uh, when we did, we saw that it was very stable, it performed well. Up till now we're very satisfied with it, so uh, great drone. If you have any questions, uh, let us know, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. 
Mm. 